Welcome to Document Write. In this week's video, we're going to talk about what a README is and how you can write an excellent one. A README file is often the first file that software users read. It is a text file containing information for the user about the software, project, or code. It might contain instructions, help, or details about patches or updates. It is documentation that is needed to grasp the project's scope. An unsaid thing about README files is that it even helps your future self. In this video, I'm going to tell you what it takes to write an excellent README. So the first thing we want to know is when we should use a README. And there are two main instances where readmes are used. Number one is when we are sharing software, often binaries. And the readme file is used to explain the software and detail how to install and configure it and some basic usage steps. A readme is also used when sharing a project's code. A README file will help team members understand what the project is about, which programming languages or frameworks are used, and how to navigate through that project. They detail how you can configure and set up your development environment. As well, they give developers a starting point for how they can contribute to the project. Writing an excellent README. Here are some criteria to follow when you want to write an excellent README document. First, you want to make sure you include the latest information. Your README should be easily digestible. And finally, it should be fully detailed but concise. Including the latest information. A README file should contain the latest information. It should be regularly updated to be consistent with the latest version that is shared with your users. Details about the different versions available should be mentioned as well, and perhaps past readmes that have information relevant to past versions can be linked and referenced as well. Changes and updates made to the project should be shared in a change log. Easily digestible. A README file should be brief and concise. It should only contain information that is necessary for setting up the project. It should be written in a simple and easy to understand language and unnecessary jargon should be avoided. The README should be self-explanatory and users should not have to read other articles to understand the README file that you provide. And our final criteria is it should have full details. The README file should contain all the necessary details to understand the project and how to use it. All software dependencies to be installed should be mentioned. Technical configurations needed to run the project on different operating systems should be mentioned as well, if applicable, of course. Links to websites where the software and dependencies is to be downloaded should be included and links to tutorials and other types of documentation will also be very beneficial. So in conclusion, when writing a readme file, the main focus should be to keep it brief while including all the necessary information needed to help a user set up. A README file should provide clarity and it should be structured correctly. It should fully serve the purpose of communicating all the vital details to help a user get up and running with the project. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like more technical writing related content, or if you need help with your company's documentation, you can visit our website documentwrite.dev. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.